Now you all know about Fallout 4 coming, yes, later this year, very exciting, but they also announced Fallout Shelter in the same breath, and Fallout Shelter is a, a like an interesting little title on iOS where basically you run your own vault. So you set up uh, you know, living quarters, you set up like water treatment plants, power stations, stuff like that. But it expands on from there. So you, you also add on you know, things like med bays, all of the things you need to run your, your little vault in the ground. And it's very similar to what you would say, I guess, XCOM's uh, building management. Where are you going to put the buildings? You have to dig out a hole to do it. You have to put an elevator to access it. So there's the very simple kind of laying it out. The more you lay out the same rooms together, the more power they get, stuff like that. So on a very simple level, you have that real basic, where do I put this to maximize how many people are going to use it, to maximize what level it is, stuff like that. But on the other side of it, you've got to manage things like morale, you've got to manage the different people's skills, stuff like that. And you've also got to manage like their ability to breed because that's the way that you're going to keep new vault dwellers coming. There will be people coming in from the outside fairly regularly and, and regularly enough that uh, you know, you, you'll, you'll have some fresh blood coming through. But realistically, the, the old-fashioned way is still the best way and you, you put two people in the living quarters and they you know, make a little baby and yay, you get more, more dwellers. But... The game obviously has some problems. Number one, there is a little bit of a you know pay to win element, but I mean define win. Yeah, I think people underestimate the fact that you're allowed to start multiple vaults. So if one doesn't succeed, let it die, start a new one. You know what you did wrong the time before, but the drops are random. So you get lunch boxes which add items. Um, they add new dwellers. They add all these different elements, and you can buy them or you can use achievements to do it. So. It's a little bit lame on that front. However, for a tapping game, there's actually a little bit of strategy to it. Strategy to it. There's a little bit of elements of, of intrigue. And, and I don't know, if you're a management freak, you're probably going to get a lot out of it.